Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com and today's lesson of the day. In today's lesson we're going to explore the strategy development and backtesting capabilities of the Pro Real Time Charting Package. This actually is not a section of the Pro Real Time Charts that I personally use. Uh, however, I know that there's a lot of interest in this among individual traders, so I've taken a video from the Pro Real Time website, which I'm going to let do the introduction for us. So let's get started. In this video, I'll show you how to backtest your strategies without writing a single line of code and in just a few clicks. We're going to backtest a very simple strategy on this chart of the S&P 500, which is going to have a short-term moving average as drawn here in purple. It's a 20-period moving average. When it crosses over the long-term moving average here in blue, which is the 100-period moving average, we will buy. And when the short-term moving average crosses under the long-term moving average, we will sell. Let's create this backtest now. To do this, click here on Indicator Backtest. Click on the Pro Backtest icon, and then click here to create a new backtest. First, give it a name. We'll call it MA Crossing. Then you can define the Buy, Sell, Short, Exit Short, and Money Management conditions before generating the code. Let's click here to define the buy conditions. We then click on the chart where we wish to add the buy condition. So we click on this chart. We will then buy when the moving average 1 crosses over the moving average 2. And we will invest 50% of capital at that time. Click here to OK that. You can also define the sell condition. So click on the chart again. Sell when moving average 1 crosses under moving average 2. You can also add conditions here if you want to, but we're going to keep this one very simple. We click here to OK that. Then we skip this part, the Capital Management Stops section that we'll look at in the next video, and click OK to generate the code. We note in this part that you can set manually the starting date and ending date for the back test, but we're just going to use the earliest date displayed on the chart up until the current time. We can click here to validate the program. You will see that some new information comes up. You see the blue line here indicating the initial level. We invested $10,000. And then at the end, we ended up with $37,676. Here you have the positions. The green levels indicate how many positions you had at one point, And then the length of this indicates how long you kept a position. Let's zoom in and take a more close look. You'll see here we bought a position, which corresponds to where the green part starts. And here we exited the position, which is where there's the little red X. The green arrows indicate a buy. The red X indicates a sell, which corresponds to our strategy. We see a cross over here. And so we buy, and there's a cross under here, and we sell. You also see the orders here. You see the price here, and then the number of positions that were bought. In addition, you can click here and have a look at the detailed report. We have a net profit of $27,676, total profit, total loss, and then a bunch of other statistics as well. Highest profit, highest loss, which is important. The average time in the market, percentage of time in the market, the total brokerage fees, highest number of consecutive winning trades and consecutive losing trades, the drawdown, which is the highest loss of the equity curve, the highest gain of the equity curve, and the return on capital, which is in this case 276.76%. You can take a look here at the orders list, which gives you a list of all the orders. 
You can sort by a number of these columns, but you probably want to just go ahead and leave it in the order of date so you look at when you bought and sold the positions. You can see here whether it was a buy or a sell, the price, the quantity that you bought, and the value, which is the price times the quantity in this case, as well as the brokerage fee. You can look at the trade list, which gives you some other information, including entry date and exit date, whether it was a long or a short position, the number of bars that you stayed in the position, the absolute and relative performance of each trade, as well as the brokerage fee associated with the trade. If you want to modify the ProBack test, there are a couple of ways. One way is to click here directly on the detailed report, Modify ProBack Test. You can close that. You can also click on the properties of the equity curve to change a number of parameters of the ProBack test. If you take a look here, you can click here to modify the ProBack test or not. We can open up the equity curve again and we can decide whether we want to display the positions indicator or not. That will make it disappear and that brings it back. We can look at the orders display. We can choose how to display an entry on the, on the chart, whether we want it to be an arrow or a diamond, for example. Now all the arrows change to diamonds. We can change them back to arrows. We can do the same thing for exits, stop losses, profit stops, trailing stops, and inactivity stops to easily display them on the chart. You can choose to take off all the arrows and you can also choose to display the orders or not. The orders here, again, you have the price times the quantity. The horizontal line is the horizontal line here on the equity curve, which shows where we started, and it shows that we had a starting capital of 10,000. We can close this. Let's go back to the optimal zoom by clicking here. And then we can also enlarge or reduce the size of any of these charts by clicking on this icon in order to have a better look. Remember that to get back to the detailed report, you can just go back into the properties of the equity curve and click on detailed report to open it up. In this way, you can test all of your strategies to find out how successful they might be with uh, trading. And I also encourage you to check out the help resources available on backtesting on the website and watch the other backtesting videos for more information.